So it looked like Suge Knight wants to keep the cash flow coming in while he's behind bars. And he was reportedly listed. Ray J to help him with that. Now, to go into further details for you guys. Basically, Suge Knight signed away his life rights to Ray J. Now, it's reported that Suge Knight has officially signed over his life rights to Ray J with the exceptions that he will make lucrative deals for him on the outside. Now, this includes, but is not limited to, film projects, TV shows, books, and more. And for those wondering why Suge Knight behind bars in the first place, if you ain't been keeping no history within the past few years, basically, he was sentenced to 28 years behind bars last October after pleading no contest to a charge of voluntary manslaughter for a 2015 incident in which he struck a 15-year-old killing him in a hit-and-run incident. He could be out in just a little over 10 years just on, you know, his time served in prison population, you know, the prison being overcrowded and whatnot. As for Ray J, he reportedly got paid very well for this venture that he's, you know, that he's barking upon. And outside of music, even though we don't get too much of music from Ray J anyway nowadays, you know, he putting his money up for, you know, good investments and, you know, he, you know, using his money wisely. He ain't out here going broke or trying to, at least he trying to, you know, venture off into other ventures and try like with these headphones he got, with headphone deal he got going on. You know what I'm saying? With the thing he got with Suge Knight. You know what I'm saying? This cannabis. Like, he just got a deal with this cannabis industry. He got a, a million-dollar deal with them. You know, he just branching off, keeping his name alive. And plus, you know, he's still a star and cast member of Love and Hip Hop, you know, on VH1. Now, me personally, I don't really watch TV like that anyway, especially if it's reality TV. I just I ain't never really just. Now, back in the day, like when Flavor Flav days and, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. Like, okay, but now I ain't, I'm, this shit fake. I'm not into reality TV. I don't watch TV like that. You know what I'm saying? I might catch a, um, you know, I do watch my teens or whatnot, catch a game or two here and there. But as far as just, you know, I'm not into that. So, but salute the Ray J, you know what I'm saying? You got to make the money. You got to make the money work for you, you know? And that just go with life. But shout out to him with this new venture he got going on with Suge Knight, man, you know? I mean, I believe that's an OG move. That's an OG step, if you will. You know, they got a lot of work, especially with Suge Knight and his life story. They got a lot of works in the project as far as when it comes to his biopic, the whole Death Row movement, you know what I'm saying? They talking about they got a Tupac album in the works. So it's a lot of money behind it. You know, it's a lot of money behind them, behind the whole project. And so Ray Z, you know, he just, you know, I salute him on it. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I also need for y'all to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for you, boy. It's Kid Fader with Fader Culture TV signing off.